Hello, hello, friends. This is Becky with Becky Budgets, just coming on here on this wonderful Thursday uh, to go over our updated numbers for week five of August. We've already hit 902 subscribers, so thank you to each and every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. This started kind of on a whim um, to keep accountable to our new budgeting journey, and I appreciate each and every one of you for the motivation and the encouragement while we've been on this journey. For those of you who are new to this channel, my husband and I are currently on a journey to pay off $69,000 worth of debt in order to get into our first home, hopefully within the next five years. That also entails some setbacks, which I'm currently going through right now. And um, after I do these updated numbers, it's actually might be a little longer of a video than you're all used to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the die for my Chicago savings. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go through and show you all the mock-up that my husband and I sat down and worked out and um, we're happy with it as of now. Perfect, so let's go ahead and get started. My husband did end up getting paid this morning. The total was uh, $750 and 52 cents. Our rollover is currently sitting at $72 and 46 cents. And we have not done anything with savings. Now, because I'm watching our buffer and trying to build each account to about $100, I do write it in green and I don't account for it in the budget. Um, I just keep track of it right at the bottom under extra savings. So our total income for this week is $750.52. This pen is actually a little, it's running out. It's one of the first that I had gotten, so it, it's about time. Now, based on this check, we are going to go ahead and save or reserve $75 to help us with our light and energy bill, which is our Excel. It did come in for about $323, and we usually budget $250 for that bill. So we feel comfortable saving about $75 to get us through for the payment in September. The headphones did come in less than $50, but if any of you have gamers, husbands, <laughs> or gamers yourselves, um, it's imperative that you get the added coverage or warranty plan on any of the headphones or um, controls or anything uh, because at some point they will stop working. So what I ended up doing was after he bought them, uh, we are members of the Best Buy Total Tech program. So I ended up adding the warranty on it and with that, it was $52.91. But I'm okay with paying the extra three or four dollars to make sure that we can get these replaced without any questions if anything happens. Now, when I add these two values together, that gets us to a total of $127.91. And when we take that away from our income, that gives us a leftover of $622.61. Now when I pull that down, food is already full, gas is full, pets is full, Eating out and miscellaneous are both full. My husband is gonna go ahead and get his 100 for personal. And I'm gonna get my 100 for personal. 
I'll be honest with you, the first thing I told my husband when we got the news that we had to pay more money for that um, testing was, I'm just not gonna use my personal. And unfortunately, they did not allow us to cancel our trip to Chicago without just giving us travel credit, which wasn't gonna help us with those fees. So um, he said that I need to stop feeling guilty about um, taking a little bit towards myself because it's this little bit that helps motivate us to keep going on this journey with so little. So point for the hubby, who's being very supportive right now. <laughs> Our envelope total is $200. And when we take those 200 away from our leftover, that leaves us with $422.61. Pulling that value over. <gasps> Oop, Leo is playing. We'll go ahead and fill our sinking funds. So we'll get $25 in medical. 15 in vet, household, excuse me, mister. Mama's trying to film, come here. It's not time to play. Thank you. Car maintenance is also gonna go ahead and get $15. Gifts, 15. Vacation will get its weekly $5. Renter's insurance and car registration will get $3 each. And the emergency fund, we'll get the $4 to round that up to $100. When we take the 100 away from our leftover, we're left with $322.61. Now pulling that down to extra debt, one of the things that we have decided to do is we're gonna go ahead and still use the money that's in our snowball envelope to pay our snowball this month, but we aren't going to add any added funds this check and probably won't be adding anything extra to our snowball for the next uh, two to three weeks. And it's to help us be able to get to that point of having $4,100 for that treatment. So we're gonna go ahead and hold off on putting anything into our snowball. Excuse me, mister, you're in the shot. Let's move you sideways. Good boy. And that's gonna leave us with the same total of 322.61. As always, those $34 are gonna go into our 52 challenge in my husband's account. That goes to fund our moving. So that's getting the 34. I did lose one pound this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and put $2 into my buy me a coffee fund. Let's see what we're left with. 34 minus two. So that's gonna leave us with 286. 286.61. Let's go ahead and put 285 into our IVF savings and then put $1.61 into our buffer. And that will get us to that 322.61 total, which gets us to that zero based budget. Based on this information, let me go ahead and write in my buffer. Hopefully it's in frame. There we go. So buffer started off with 72.46 plus the $1.61. And that's gonna give us a total of 7407.
Okay, as always, let's go ahead and check my math. We have an income total of 750.52 minus our envelope total, which is not our envelope total, our bill total, which is 127.91 minus the $200 that are going into our envelopes minus the 100 into our sinking funds. Nothing's going into extra debt this week. And then the $322.61 going into savings, which gets us to that beautiful zero base budget. Awesome. Now, moving on to the um, savings challenge that I have for my Chicago savings. Let me go ahead and pull that out. I did purchase this. Oh, what is that? I did purchase this off of um, budget with Ira <clears throat> and I've been having fun filling it. So what I do is I, if I know I'm getting my personal fund, I will roll my die four times. There are four weeks that we are counting in the month of September. And then I cross off those numbers. Hopefully whatever we save between now and September 30th will help with um, food or gas while we are in Chicago for my 20 year high school reunion. Let's go ahead and get these taken care of. I'm gonna need to write it down so that I know exactly how much I need to pull from our bank tomorrow to add this on. So the first one is, I think it was out of frame, but it was a number seven. So it was a number seven. Go ahead and write that down. Number two is a 10. Number three is Another 10. Ooh, I can't get a break, can I? <laughs> Number four is a one. So we are going to go ahead and take out $28 tomorrow to put into my Chicago savings fund. And let me see if I can find the marker. We'll go ahead and cross off the numbers that we picked. So we got a second seven, we got two tens, and we got another one. Awesome, so that's filling up slowly but surely. And you'll see that during my cash stuffing tomorrow. Now, for those of you who have stayed till the end of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and go through our like mock-up of how we plan to get to, and this is my Erin Condren uh, monthly planner that I use for budgeting. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump to a page that we're not using this month. Here we go. Here's the page. And we'll go ahead and write this mock-up right here. Um, let me go ahead and use, let's use a different color. Let's use purple. So as I had shared before, my husband and I, um, because of my maternal age, um, have decided to do like genetic testing or chromosomal testing on our embryos prior to implantation. Originally, we were told that that was gonna cost $2,000 and we were on track to get those $2,000. About two days ago, I got a message from my um, reproductive endocrinologist's office letting me know that the price has changed and that now the testing is costing $4,100. After giving myself two days to sulk about it, which is completely fine, it was time to step into gear and find out exactly how we were gonna get this money uh, without going into further debt. And this is what we have decided to do. So this 
IVF testing is going to cost $4,100. And based on the invoices that I got, it is exactly $4,100. We did end up getting that rebate check from um, Colorado State. So I'll go ahead and put check on here. And that totals $1,500. As of the budget that I just shared with you, we are getting $284 from this check in order to help with this. Our medical envelope, it currently has $275 and we're gonna add another 25 tomorrow. So that's gonna give us a total of $300. Let's go ahead and add these totals up. So we've got 1,500 plus 284 plus 300, and that gets us to a total of, so this is money that has been allocated directly to this testing. So we are at $2,084. Taking a look at our savings as a whole, currently we have our emergency fund and that's at a total of 1080 as of today. My 52 week challenge, which is going towards Christmas, is currently sitting at 295 and it's getting another 185 when I get paid in September and then our moving which is our second 52 week challenge is currently sitting at 436. And when we add tomorrow, it's getting, well, it already got, to be honest with you, I just hadn't accounted for this because I mocked it up yesterday. So that's gonna be getting $34 today. Adding these totals together, we are at, Twenty thousand, sorry, two thousand thirty dollars. And if we add these two values together, we're going to be getting to a total of four thousand one hundred and fourteen dollars, which gets us to where we need to be in order to pay for that testing. This right here is the last resort for us. At least we know that we have the money in our savings to go ahead and pay this money um, if we need to. And at the end of the day, starting a family is more important to us than being able to buy gifts for Christmas or um, helping to finance moving next year uh, because we still have time to save for those things. And we only have about two and a half weeks to get to this total. In the meantime, my husband is putting in extra hours. He's absolutely phenomenal. And um, the very night that we talked about this, he went ahead and put in 12 hours of work and he's been exhausted, but I know that he's doing this for, for me and for our family. So hopefully with the added 
um, over time, we'll be able to kind of chip away at being having to touch these. Obviously, our emergency fund is always number one. So hopefully we won't have to deplete it completely, but we are ready to do so if we need to. Thank you so very much to each and every one of you who has given us well wishes during this time. It was quite a shock to me and I'll be honest, um, it's been a long battle for us uh, to get to this point. So to feel like it was at a point where we didn't know where we were gonna, what we were gonna do, um, really kind of uh, affected me. If any of you would like me to go over my IVF journey with you, please go ahead and leave that in the comment section. I'm more than happy to uh, post a bonus video about that in case it helps anyone else. Um, but it is uh, four years in coming. And so um, to already be under medication and have this kind of be another setback culminated in me needing to sulk for a couple days. <laughs> but that's okay because I got back up and now we have a plan. I'm comfortable with this plan. And like I said, this is worst case scenario. Thank you to each and every one of you who has taken the time to watch this content. I appreciate and love all of you. Tomorrow I'll be doing a cash stuffing. Um, it will be less than usual because we're only gonna be stuffing um, the 100 for our sinking funds and then my, my personal, which is another 100. And um, the rest of it is actually gonna get anything that's going towards this IVF journey is going straight into savings so that out of sight, out of mind. Thanks again, my friends. I hope you are having an amazing day and I will see each and every one of you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.